Hey, Matt Lanfer here with Primary and Secondary. Halloween's still coming. I'm still dressed up. You know, my whole costume would have been complete, though, had I not shot up my Ops Corps helmet. It was for a good cause. As a matter of fact, Dugan Ashley was the trigger man. If you pay attention to InRange TV, you'll see that video soon enough. Okay, so let's talk about slings for a minute here. A lot of people have these ideas about slings. So we have our single points, we have our adjustable two-point combat type slings, and we have three points. Well, I've used them all. I've used them all for multiple years. If anything, I've had kind of an evolution of slings. I started with a three-point because in the late 90s, three-points sure were cool. Not really, though. We didn't know any better. What it did do, though, is it uh, provided a lot of fabric, a lot of ability to get tangled. Uh, if you're into getting tangled, if you like to uh, undoing tangles, three-point is perfect for you. As a matter of fact, I highly recommend that, unless you're one of my coworkers or you're someone who carries a weapon and your life depends on that. Don't do that. Adjustable two-point. Basically, you have two points of contact with the weapon. And again, I've said this in another review, I'd like to have this somewhere else. I've become less of a fan of having it so close to the receiver. But having two points of contact on the weapon, and also it has some form of adjustment, so you can make it a little tighter on you or loosen it up. Personally for me, this is perfect for transitions. This is perfect for going hands-on. This is perfect for everything. Then also we have single point slings. Essentially you have your gun, and you have one point on that gun where the sling attaches. Originally they were more designed for something like an MP5K much smaller, uh, much lighter, not so much like a 20-inch M16A4. A lot of proponents of single points are big fans of them, especially when they haven't gone beyond a square range. The minute you have to move with that gun, the minute you have to do anything hands-on, then some of the benefits kind of dwindle. Um, the second you have to do a transition, your crotch will not appreciate that single point sling. But wait, Matt, there are these things we can attach to our gear that will hold the gun in place. So when I do that transition with that single point, it will lock the gun in place. Why don't I just stick with an adjustable two point, sling the weapon, put it aside, and cinch it up. If you can, try to do some kind of an obstacle course with the sling you have. If it winds up causing some issues, maybe do a little bit, bit of research. See what other options are available. If you have to do any climbing, if you have to do any hands-on, if you have to transition, What's going to be better? Something flailing about? Something that's going to get tangled? Or something that you can secure on your body? I had someone once discuss with me the, the feasibility of a single point being optimal in a vehicle. Number one, why are you having a weapon sling to your body in a vehicle? Let's say you got in a wreck. You needed to be extricated. Why do you want one more thing, one large piece of metal, strapped to your body that may impede you from being able to be rescued or impede you from getting yourself out? So if you're stationary, if you're not moving, if you're not doing anything and you have no expectation of doing anything hands-on, single points work excellent. If you are a fan of having too much material and you want to get tangled in things, three points work. If there is any threat that you may have to do something hands-on, if you may have to do a transition, if you might have to move, if you might have to climb, you might want to look at an adjustable two-point sling. If you learned anything, if you enjoyed this, Make sure you hit like. Not only hit like, be sure to share. If you haven't already, subscribe. We appreciate all of that. We also appreciate our support from our Patreon subscribers. If you go to patreon.com slash primary and secondary, you have the opportunity to basically support this network. Supporting that network helps produce these types of little tiny, hopefully educational videos. This also helps provide uh, funds to produce larger, larger objects, larger uh, productions. It also is going to pay for my helmet that I had shot, but it was for science.